Hey everyone, Brittany Carmichael here, bringing you your live weekly Woo Woo Wednesday Tarot reading. And today I'm excited because it is the first day of November. And in numerology terms, numerically, we're at 11-1. So November 11, you know, the 11th month and the first day. So 111 is the numerology of today, which means to keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts are creating your reality. You are a manifester and your imagination and your thoughts are contributing to what you're going to experience in your reality. So today is a really powerful day to keep your thoughts positive because they are manifesting into the next level of experience and adventure that you're going to go on. So happy November, the first of the month. It's time to get started, to start taking action, start moving towards what it is that you want. Hello everyone. Hey Sarah. Hey Erica. Um, hello Tammy. Yay! So good to see you. Hey, Ann. So today I um, noticed on the clock it was 111 on 11-1. And so I took a moment to really pause and think about, you know, what is it that I really want to create in this month? What do I want to finish up by the end of the year? So I just want you to take a moment to tune into yourself and figure out, you know, how do you, how do you want to end this year? What do you need to do in order to get to where you need to be for 2018 because 2018 is like our year to explode. This year has been a year of laying foundations and deciding what it is that we want to create for ourselves. Now we've been letting go of what we don't need and actually laying down some plans into action and so 2018 is really going to be the year to implement all of those things that we've been dreaming of this year. So. What is it that you want to create? Remember, it's the first of the month, 111. It's all about keeping your thoughts positive. So, what do you want to create for the rest of the year? What do you want to finish? What project do you want to wrap up? You know, for me today, all day I've been filming my tarot course to teach you how to start your tarot practice. And it, you know, I started thinking, like, okay, what is that thing I've been saying all year that I want to create that I haven't done yet? So, I want to ask you is there something that you've been saying all year that you want to do or, or try for yourself or start for yourself? Maybe you haven't gotten to it. Now would be the time to really consider what it is that you want to finish up because now it, we're heading into the end of the year. Which which is crazy how fast this year is flying. Um, create authentically aligned content. Beautiful. Finish my book, says Aubrey. I know a lot of people are um, in creation process right now, whether it be books or blogs or things like that, um, or online cour or courses on how to read tarot. Um, so it's it's very clear that we all have something that project that we're working on that we need to wrap up so that we can start that next one that we're dreaming of. So so cool to see that everyone else is kind of in that content creation mode who are in this type of work. Um, launch my website. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. So get your message out into the world. Now is the time to lay down those foundations so that when the next year rolls around, you're ready and you you have like a solid, stable foundation. So today I've decided to use the um, Archangel Power Tarot deck. I, You guys know I love this deck and I'm, I've been here all day filming. Um, how to begin a tarot practice. I've got all I've got all kinds of decks out here today, but I'm going to go with the Tarot Archangel. Just love this deck so much. So, we're going to shuffle with the intention that everyone here watching receives the message that they most need. And I want to ask a favor from you. If you know a soul sister who would benefit from this reading, go ahead and invite her to join right now so that she can catch it live. So, as I do every week, I shuffle with the intention that we all receive the guidance that we most need for this moment in our lives. So trust whatever thoughts, feelings, or visions come up for you during this reading. And let's see what comes up. I really, like I said, we're, we've, we're, what do we have on Saturday? A new moon? A new moon. A full moon? What do we have? Something. We have some kind of moon on Saturday. It's a full moon. We have a full moon on Saturday. Uh, I had to think about that one for a minute. So on Saturday, it's the full moon in Taurus. So we're being asked to be grounded, to be methodical in our plans, to really start taking those action steps towards what it is that we want. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Sarah. Yep, thanks, guys. Uh, it took me a moment to realize, oh, this card just flipped over. Um, the second card for today. 
And full moons are all about releasing, letting go of what no longer serves us. So what project can you, one, complete and finish, or are there projects or loose ends that you need to tie up, that you need to like get off the table so that you can make room for um, what you're asking for? You know, this also, this moon is also a moon about receiving abundance. You know, Taurus is the sign for money and cash flow. So what blocks can you let go of to start allowing that abundance in? You know, full moons are not only a time of release and letting go so that you can make room but they're also of receiving so it's about receiving all the manifestations that you've set your prior intention um, in, in a prior new moon what was it that you were wanting to create well this full moon is going to be that culmination of all of the abundance the support and the universe's way of showing you that like whatever resources you need they're gonna come into your life okay two cards just no, three cards just flipped out for the third card. Well, that's unique. We're just gonna we're gonna roll with it and we're gonna read, see what comes up. So let's just dive in since we have quite a few cards. Um, the seven of Ariel comes up. This is in the side of Pentacles. Um, love your makeup and hair, Britt. Thanks, Danielle. So so sweet to see you here, sister. Um, it says you've invested wisely. This is about having patience, waiting for your harvest to kind of reward, you know, to uh, bloom rather and be ripe for picking, uh, which is perfect timing for it being like harvesting season around here. And the full moon is about, you know, waiting to pluck all of the resources that you've been planting. It says you've invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for the next endeavor. So just like we were talking about what are those projects that you need to close the chap you need to close the door on these bad boys what are those things that you need to let go of and it could even be a relationship or a job or even a belief like we're talking about opening up to receive your abundance you know a lot of that has to do with the mental blocks that we create for ourselves um, and says I'm going to release my old story this full moon I am making room to receive abundance for 2018 absolutely beautiful um, because you know it is our story that is created Creating what we're experiencing and as we say well I can never have this or I can have this then you're going to experience that so it's really important to shift your story as well as um, the physical changes that you need to make as well um, okay so seven of Ariel this is talking again about knowing that everything that you've done has been a wise investment all the actions that you've taken this year all the decisions that you've made this has brought you to a point where you're starting to see the rewards, but you're, you know, it's not quite in full bloom. I, I truly believe that's really going to happen for a lot of us next year. Everyone who's been diligent this year to, like I said, lay that foundation and plant those seeds, we're then going to start seeing more and more of those rapid manifestations. And again, today is 111, November 1st. So this is a really important day for you to really keep your thoughts clear on what it is you want to manifest. Um, because we know that number one in the Tarot is the magician and it's all about uh, manifesting your thoughts into reality. So keep your thoughts positive and have patience. We're in a transition period. I know it can be weird sometimes because you're like, but it's not here yet. I'm not really sure if this is happening for me. Yes, it's happening. Just slow down, have patience, and know that that um, full reaping of the rewards will be here soon. Um, I'm hearing a pregnancy for you. Um, <laughs> maybe with a new business, but uh, no children on my end. Um, I suffer from anxiety, so all the time, um, so all the time, my fears, worries stop me from doing things that take me a long time until I come to a point where I'm ready to do it. Trying hard to meditate regularly. So here's the thing, honey you know fear will continually stop you from taking that next action step because what you're doing is you're projecting in your mind of all the things that could go wrong but what in reality if you just take that next step you're gonna get closer to whatever it is that you dream of because I'm sure what you are wanting what the direction you're wanting to move is in alignment with what your soul wants and your brain your programming your um, external conditioning has has put you under this spell essentially this fear of like but it's not possible for me it won't work and it's just not true my friend so if you just look around and go okay what is that step I'm so afraid to take and you just take it you'll surprise the hell out of yourself and realize that the fear that you've been projecting is again essentially an imagination in your own mind of you projecting going oh this is gonna be awful it's not gonna work so I invite you to project out forward and see yourself um, 
uh, taking the action steps that you want to be taking, not the ones that you don't want to be taking. Um, I was hearing now. Okay, Sarah, I have gotten the same for her as well. You guys are so funny. I am here to birth peace, not babies, guys. <laughs> that will never, ever happen. I can promise you that. Okay, moving on. Divine guidance, number five, comes up for you. So this is important to surround yourself with wise teachers, like-minded friends, a support system who will help you into that next phase. Um, yes, I have gotten the nudges and working on the programming of fear and conditioning. Beautiful. Um, so this is the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach and surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So this is talking about if you've been doing it, if you've been living life inside the box and it's not working for you anymore, then try an alternative approach. Try stepping outside of your comfort zone. Try moving past the fear by just doing it. I can't make it any more clear than whatever you want, whatever step you want to take and then the fear comes in and says, no, don't do it. Say, okay, fear, I hear you. I'm taking the step anyway. That's the only way you're going to realize you're the one creating the blocks and the limitations in your mind that are stopping you from taking an actual action in reality. Uh, this talks about maybe you are being called to uh, share your wisdom with people. Maybe you're on the other side of this coin where it's not necessarily surrounding yourself with the wise teachers and friends, but maybe you're the wise teacher right now. Maybe you've been guided to start speaking up and sharing your story. Um, but another important part of this card is, is knowing that we are moving through change and that in <laughs> your own internal guidance system is the one that's going to never fail you. It will always let, it will always lead you in the right direction. And it's also another important sign to really surround yourself with the people that get you, that want to support you and your dreams moving forward. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying here. Um, I have wise teachers and friends. Thank you, Erica. I agree <laughs> um, that, you know, we you've been a great uh, mirror of reflection. And remember, the people that you surround yourself with are a mirror to you. So what you see in them is something that you are seeing within you. So if you surround yourself with people that you look at and you're inspired by them and you want to grow, then you that's something inside of you saying, I have that capability. I know that I'm able to do this. Now, if you look at someone that you're surrounded with and they irritate the piss out of you, then get clear with yourself on what aspects or what attitudes you've been um, working from that irritate you. Because anything that irritates you about someone else is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. Um, yes, I needed this message today. So glad you're here. And okay, so three cards came up for the final card. So <laughs> let's just see what, let's see how they came up. Um, the Eight of Gabriels, number one. This is um, a great deal of activity, sudden quick changes. Um, it says immediate result results and important communication. So this is saying, hey, now's gonna be the time where we are rapidly manifesting and you're gonna be asked to take action. And so this is a really important time to get your fear in check because fear is gonna come up no matter what, no matter who you are, no matter how much of an expert you are, it doesn't matter. It still comes up. But the difference between the successful people like Adele who still has fear but gets on stage and sings her ass off and the people that want to be singers or want to be on stage or want to show shine and, and be a star. The difference is that they hear the fear and they move through it anyway. You guys have heard this saying, feel the fear and do it anyway. It's going to come up. So, so what? <laughs> Let it come up and just keep taking that action that you're guided to take. This talks about important communication. So it's important to be clear on um, wh whoever you're dealing with to be clear on what it is that you actually want. Be vocal in saying, these are my needs and desires. This is what I'm eliminating. This is what I'm wanting to change in my life. Um, start vocalizing your desires to not only, you know, abracadabra means to make words into form. So it's not only voicing it and, and putting your manifestation out there, but you're also letting other people know where you stand and what you want. Um, uh, people that support. Yes, I've had a certain person that has been causing drama and is very unsupportive right now. Well, again, take a look in that mirror and see if there's 
certain parts of yourself that maybe you could show up more and maybe you could show up and support people around you or maybe it could be that you could be you need to be supporting yourself so just take a look at those people that are around and ask yourself why you've allowed them to stay in your life okay so the eight of Gabriel let's see what else four of Ariel comes up so fours are about stability and your foundations just again as we're talking um, you know moving into the sign of Taurus is about practicality and having a plan and, and being methodical about it so this says um, when you give you also receive this really ties into what you were saying Dana about you know maybe noticing that unsupportive person this comes up saying whatever you give out into the world whether it's attitude, anger, joy, love, compassion, uh, whatever it may be, you're going to receive that back. So um, when you give, you also receive being resistant to change and extremes in how you save or spend money. So this is a card to maybe look at what side of the coin you're on. Are you constantly giving out and not actually receiving? And this is also energetically. Because we're in the suit of pentacles, Ariel, it's about material possessions, but I really want you to think about the energy that you're constantly giving out and are you getting that back reciprocated from wherever it's going. Um, being resistant to change. Again, we're in this transition period that gets a little bit weird and we get a little impatient because we're like, ah, we know we want to move into this direction and there's this comfort zone part of us that wants to stay back and, and say, no, I think I'm comfortable here. I don't really want to move. So we kind of resist that change because it forces us to get outside of our comfort zone, which can cause pain or confusion. But this is the time to really know that it's okay to trust during this transition. It's okay to have faith and to have space and to breathe and relax, knowing that you don't always have to be on. Now, the aid of Gabriel is an interesting that this comes up. It's about sudden movement, but when you're not guided to take that quick action, you can rest so that you can regain your footing and uh, the next step that you need to take. Um, and then extremes in how you save or spend money. So take a look at your finances. Again, we're in moving into the sign of Taurus, which is about cash flow and abundance and how much is coming in and how much is coming out, which really aligns with something in my own personal life. My husband and I have been talking about where are our finances going? How much, how many subscriptions do we, are we signed up to that we're paying for each month that we don't even realize? So now would be a great time to really check in with your finances. Again, if you're changing careers, also a good time to really get and check how much is coming in and how much is going out. Nice. Number six, the lovers comes up. So this is again is uh, interesting because we've got the number five, divine guidance. Oh, so cool. Four, seven, eight, so many great numbers showing up right now. So this is saying make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments and the power of love. So when the lovers comes up, of course, this is of course, this is about romantic partnerships and, and finding that um, soulmate within yourself um, because once you find that lover inside you, then you'll attract that right lover to, to, to be the mirror, to reciprocate what it is you're giving to yourself. Um, but this is talking about making choices from the heart. So as we're moving into this next phase of life, we really need to decide what makes our heart excited, what makes our heart flutter, where we're like, yes, I want to do that. I'm staying committed to this. Um, Thank you, you just re uh, reminded me I wanted to finish creating my budget, putting it in on Friday's to-do schedule. Awesome, wow, these cards mirror exactly where I am at. So cool to see that these are connecting with each and every one of you in their own unique way. So again, when the lovers comes up, this is the time to really make those beautiful commitments to yourself. I, I feel like, of course, when we hear the lovers, we think of two separate people, um, but right now I feel like this lovers card represents that commitment that you're gonna make to yourself to your soul, to your life purpose, to your path, to the thing that lights you up so that you can wake up each and every day with that internal motivation because you're going after what your heart desires. You're going after what really lights you up. So yes, I see lovers in having that supportive group of people around you. It doesn't necessarily mean a, a romantic relationship, although of course the lovers you would think, right? But in this particular case, in this reading, I really feel like it's the deep connection that you're gonna make with your soul. 
Um, Kelly says, you are amazing, Britt. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel it means self-love more in, uh, more than my marriage. So, Anne, you're feeling the same feeling that I am. This is a commitment with yourself. And when you make that self-love commitment, then every other relationship in your life is gonna reflect back that love that you're giving to yourself. So really put yourself, um, put yourself in the hot seat to, this week and get clear on what, am I overindulging? Am I being lazy? Am I afraid to change? Am I, am I, am I stuck in my comfort zone? Uh, am I not giving the care to myself that I actually need? And allow yourself the truth to come up and wherever you're maybe falling short in filling your cup, uh, and taking responsibility for your emotions and your actions. Maybe this is the time where you begin to make those shifts and you change the, the eating habits and you change the emotional way that you express yourself. Um, you know, journaling has been a very beautiful practice for me in getting my emotions out so that I can get clear on how do I feel right now? Like, what do I really want? It's too easy that we just shove it off to the side and don't actually pay attention to what's coming up to be released. And with this full moon, it's coming up, things are coming up to be released so that you can make room for the abundance that you're asking for. This isn't all about purging because you know full moons are about release, but they're also about receiving. More so, it's about receiving in this particular time. So open up to receive the support, the, uh, the abundance, and the resources that you need in order to take those next steps. You don't have to know where they're gonna come from, you just have to open up your, your, your heart and say, I trust that whatever I need will come to me and, and find me in the divine timing that I need to move forward. Maeve says, hey there, going to listen to what I missed on the recording. So good to see you here um, live, Maeve. And Linda says, I started a business 10 months ago and I can see these cards are helping me so much. Um, Krista says, I can't wait for your tarot class. Very exciting, enjoy the progress. Um, I will, thank you so much. Actually, all the recordings I did this morning, the audio was shot and I have to re-record everything. Now, you could get mad and get frustrated, but I took the moment to go, okay, why is this happening? And it's constantly happening so that I can up-level the way that I deliver my content to you, make sure that the quality is there. And if the audio is off, then you gotta go again. So here's the thing, you know, I, I see you guys say, well, like fear is stopping me from moving forward. Well, here's, here's the situation. Fear has moved aside for me to film this course for you and still things go wrong. So it's not that even if you're without fear that things aren't gonna go wrong and wrong essentially in life, what we would call wrong. There, everything is happening to take you to that next level, to move you into an awareness of, okay, well maybe this is right for me or maybe there's a better way. So trust that even if you take that step and, and, you're, <laughs> and you've moved through the fear and things go wrong, don't take that as a defeat, don't take that as a, well, maybe I'm just not meant to do this. This isn't, this isn't working out. Stop, pause, and come at it again with a more creative solution. Allow yourself to look for the silver lining in the things that we would call wrong or or BS. You know, we can be mad when these things happen, but you always have to pause and go, what good can come from this? And I know that by asking that simple question in all situations in my life, have I been able to find my own inner peace knowing that every single thing that is happening right now is teaching you to look within, to find the limits and the blocks that you've placed on yourself from receiving the love and abundance that is divinely rightly yours. Wow, interesting messages coming through for you guys today, but I'm super excited to see each and every one of you committing to what your heart is asking for. What, like, what does your soul yearn for? And yes, fear is gonna come up. No matter who you are, no matter how popular you are, no matter how excellent or expert you are at whatever it is, fear will always show itself. But it's a, it's a matter of what you do with it. So. Okay, it comes up, like I've told you before, put it in the back seat and say, we're going anyway. Um, there's so much wisdom from this reading, and yes, something's coming through. I mean, so many cards came out for this 
week's reading. So it's beautiful to see that we are not alone. And you know, today is like Dia de los Muertos, which is all about honoring um, all the past loved ones that have gone before us and taking a moment to honor our ancestors. I know last week I really took a moment to, you know, send some love and light to everyone who's passed, but today happens to fall on the day where we are meant to honor and acknowledge that we are not alone in this journey, that our past loved ones, our spirit guides, and, and all of the magical unseen realms are there supporting us, whether you can see it or not. I know that you've probably been receiving great heavenly signs like butterflies a lot this week, just to remind you that you aren't alone and that the ones that you love that are no longer physically with us are still here supporting us from the spiritual world. Um, Tammy says, fear, false evidence appearing real. So true. I always thought that saying was so lame until I actually realized what it meant. And it is true that we are projecting visions and, and images in our mind of ourselves failing or having the worst case scenario when, like we talked about today's 111, you know, November 1st, it's all about keeping your thoughts positive because the thoughts are what create your reality. So if your thoughts are filled with fear, then you're going to experience a reality with situations that cause you to feel that feeling so that you can learn to overcome it, so that you can stop creating it in your mind. Anne says, music has been spot on with my family. Yes, a lot of um, music has been playing for me as well. I have songs dedicated to different family members that have passed and they keep playing a lot this week. Um, a, an interesting, here's a, here's a great story. I, I love to share some of my magical stories as a medium. So um, my father passed away in 2008 and he hated eating cheese, okay? He hated it. And so I, was looking that it was Dia de los Muertos and one of the things that you're supposed to do is eat food in honor of your past loved ones. Like what was their favorite food? You would eat it, right? So I said to my husband, I said, well, I guarantee we won't be eating cheese tomorrow um, in honor of my dad because my dad hated cheese. So here's, here's an interesting thing. I have like hundreds of letters from him that he wrote me when I was little because I didn't grow up with him. He grew up in jail <laughs> and or he lived his life in jail while I was growing up. And so he would write me letters all the time, all the time. So that's how I would get to know him. Well, I, I felt compelled to pull out those letters from my dad last night and read some of them because, you know, he's, it's, you know, it's like t the veil's the thinnest. I can feel him here with me. And those are just the way that he he feels like I'm directly connected to him. So I pulled out the letters to read it. And I kid you not, the first line of the letter, I just pulled out a letter from 1995. And the, the freaking subject, man, this is how you know they're always with you. The freaking subject said, hey, cheese eaters. <laughs> How? How out of hundreds of letters that I have from him that are addressed, hey Brit, or hey cat to my mom, or hey babe, he writes, hey cheese eaters. Like, that is a very clear and definite sign that, you know, the in the timing that I decided to pick up that letter and the, the fact that I spoke to Chris, like, we won't be eating cheese because he hates it, you know, it's just very clear that they are supporting us and, and guiding us to that next level of um, understanding or communication, you know. I'm sure your loved ones are always trying to communicate with you, but if you're not open to receive these subtle messages like that, then you might miss the magic. Um, goosebumps, Aubrey says, love it. Bless your dad, aw. Vegan here, yay, so excited. Um, Dio Muerto something something. <laughs> what day is it again? Ancestors Day. Dia de los Muertos. Um, it is a Hispanic tradition that honors our past loved ones. It's also called All Saints Day. So it's really honoring and recognizing the ones that have passed before us. Um, found it, Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> That's awesome. So, you know, I just wanted to share that little magical story with you because it was really touching to me, reminding me that even though, you know, we, we can feel them and we think they're there, sometimes we doubt that fact. But when little instances like this come up, it's just, it's just proof that they are always with us and listening to us and sending us the signs that we need in the exact right moment uh, for that love and support. Um, Mexican tradition of Day of the Dead, November 1st for children, the second for adults. Yes, yeah, so it's actually a two-day event. Thank you for breaking it down in adults and children. So 
Um, right now, like I said, is that time when the veil is the thinnest. We're going through the transitions and we're really up leveling on a spiritual um, collective. So listen to your inner voice, surround yourself with those wise teachers and friends. Uh, make that self love commitment, make that commitment to your soul where you show up every day and you're like, Hey, I love you. What do you need today? How will, what, how can I serve? What's the best plan of action and trust whatever comes up. Take a look at your finances because we're moving into the sign of Taurus for this full moon and it's a good time to get grounded, to get practical and methodical on the plans that you need to move forward. So what can you release? What subscriptions? Um, where are you, where are you um, bleeding money is what I'm guided to share. Where are you bleeding money? Plug the hole so that you can allow that abundance to fill up. Um, very cool. I knew nothing of this day. Oh, well, I'm so glad that I brought it up. Um, now would be a great time to send love to your grandmother, Stacy, as I can feel her energy always around you. Um, okay. So where are we at today? What are we, what's going on? I am just loving being able to chat with you. I love that it's the beginning of a new month and we're moving into such a fun holiday season. So really take time to surround yourself with your friends and family, the people that support and love you because ultimately this is what matters in life. Um, where have you, where are you bleeding money? Love that. Uh, yes, <laughs> again, so much fun stuff has come through. If you're just now joining, be sure to go back and catch the live reading. There were five cards that came up for this week. So clear Clearly there's a lot to say. Be open in your communication. Be willing to take that fast action when your soul guides you. And what you give is what you receive is also another important message coming through. So what you give to yourself, what you give to others, and what you give out into just the universe, the energy that you show up with. If you show up in an, a in an asshole energy, you're projecting that out into the world and you're going to receive that back from the world. So really take a moment to take responsibility of the energy that you're showing up with, the thoughts that you're thinking, the feelings that are coming up for you, and the people that you surround yourself with. Um, yes, hey grandma, aw, so beautiful. Yeah, I can totally see, <laughs> I can totally see her. So she's a strong, she's definitely a strong diva, I tell you that. Um, she's like, just so everyone knows, I'm here. So I, if that resonates, then you know, let me know because I, 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 can, t I can fully feel her. So anyway, Love this day, love this reading. Um, Anne says, I am love. Yes, you are. That is the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth. And <laughs> nothing else can take you from that core. No fear, no, none of that. It is temporary because love is ultimately the underlying eternal condition that we are. Um, LOL, oh, oh my God, I love her. <laughs> yeah, she, she's, she's a cool chick. Okay, but you know that, right? Um, she's my cheerleader badass. Yes, she totally is. Because, Like I said, I can feel her and she's, she's like on it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but we should talk because she just won't stop coming through. Okay, so thank you for joining me here on Woo Woo Wednesday. Every Wednesday where we dive into the tarot cards and I answer what energy is coming up for this week and what you need to pay attention to. Now, you guys know I'm filming a very special mini tarot course on teaching you how to get started so that you can understand the language of your soul. So I want to know what questions do you have when it comes to tarot? Leave those in the comments below and I'll be sure to include them in my mini course. Um, and I am super excited to join you on Friday for the Elevated Life series with my husband Chris at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So be sure to join us if you haven't caught us live for the Elevated Life series. Uh, Maeve says, thank you. So good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. I'm blessed beyond measure to know each and every one of you and to have your amazing support for these beautiful videos and the messages that come through. We never know what will come up, but we know that they are always on point. And we just have to trust that we know more than we think we do. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you everyone who's joining me live. And if you want to connect with me for a one-on-one -on -one reading or a mediumship reading, whatever it, whatever it is you need, you can find me at brittanycarmichael.com slash tarot. And I'll be sure to leave that in the comments below. And also stay tuned, look out for the full moon release ritual and guided meditation that will be coming your way. I'll be posting it. I'll even, I'll even leave that in the comments below for you so that you can listen to this guided meditation to help you release those blocks that are keeping out abundance, that'll, that will help you to relax those worries and to really allow your body to relax. Because when our mind and our body is relaxed, 
that's when the magic happens. Uh, do you go through all your cards when they arrive or bless them in some way? Great question and the answer is yes. And I will of course explain that more in the video and how I like to go about doing that. Thank you so much for posting that and brittanycarmichael.com slash tarot. You can connect with me one-on-one -on -one for a live reading or mediumship to anyone you miss and want to connect with. Uh, Maeve says, I like to be surprised by the cards as they come up. I never view the whole deck when it arrives. You know, I have done, I have done it both ways and it really just depends on if if you've used decks before and you know how, and you know the meanings behind the tarot or if you just want to be surpri surprised there really is no wrong way but um, when it comes to tarot reading I think it's important to familiarize yourself with one card a day uh, in the deck so that you can understand the actual symbolism and the meanings for that card um, and then you can go on your practice of one card a day and just letting them come up. Now there are some decks like um, you guys have seen my Nature's Whispers decks. I haven't seen all the cards in this deck because it's an oracle deck and it's different from a tarot, um, which I'll explain the difference in my mini course for you guys. Um, I, like, let, I like being surprised by the oracle decks because there isn't a set structure or system to oracle. It's more just guidance uh, per card. Um, printable coming soon. Yes, and is working on a kick-ass um, full moon ebook for you guys so that you can take these step-by-step -step actions to do these release rituals and I will be including even more fun information about how you can utilize all the energy and the power of each moon and what each cycle means for you. So thank you so much for joining me this week for Woo Woo Wednesday. I'll also be leaving the comment uh, in the comments below a link for you to check out the full moon release ritual so that you can download that free meditation and get started on letting go of whatever's holding you back so that you can make more room for magic. I'll see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series. Bye.